Hello guys, my name is Adwaje. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to broadcast a new notification using Laravel Echo and Pusher.js. So if you're new to this series and just came here to know how to broadcast a new message, I recommend you and go recommend you to go and watch the first episode of this series which is the installation on which I have told you how to install Laravel Echo and Pusher.js. So let's get started. So before starting this video there is a couple of things which we have to do so we, uh, which I have forgot in the first video itself so we can start by going to our .env file and you can find the broadcast driver and just change it to pusher so that it automatically um, takes uh, config and the broadcasting pusher out here and inside the options we can just give the encrypted equals true um, this will just in encrypt it so that's good and I have a small bug fix or oh, it's not a bug uh, a small thing I have to tell you before we can move on to this video so is that inside your command controller I have shown you to use the notify method by just finding the user so this is a good way of doing it but it's pretty good to do it like this so that's enough instead of just finding the user it's a lot better to notify the user by uh, like this so we don't need the uh, user model so I'll just clear it out and now we can start so now let's start by going to our notification class so just open a notify post owner and inside the via method we are returning the database so we also need to broadcast it so I will just type broadcast so that's enough for broadcasting it so now we need a function to broadcast it so I'll just copy the to database function and uh, paste it here and change the database to broadcast broadcast so we need to return the exact thing which we are returning to the database and that's enough so it's a common question that where is it getting broadcast so you can find it inside your routes file routes folder and inside the channel.php you say default channel so here's where uh, it is getting broadcast to so you can't change it uh, if you uh, if you want to change it you have to edit the vendor files itself um, I'm not going to talk about it right now so now let's open our resource now assets js app.js inside our create and method we can use the echo so now echo we have the private uh, private uh, channel so which is app dot user dot and id so now the user id is not defined so we will just define it uh, say variable user id and we will get it from the meta tag and the name will be user id uh, dot attribute will be content okay now we don't have the meta tag so we'll just create it by just going to our layouts app.play.php and a new meta tag will be um, user id and the content will be first we will check if uh, the user is authenticated or not so check and if it is true then it will return the user id or else uh, 
it's empty now so now we have to automatically trigger when a new notification is created in this uh, channel so for that there is a method known as notification so a method inside the method I will open a function so it is notification okay now for a cube we can just uh, log it inside the console so notification so before testing it inside your config app.php inside the providers you can see the uh, broadcast service provider class is commented just uncomment it you can quickly uncomment it uh, using control plus slash and that's enough and now if you reload and try to create a new comment inside your console you can see an object so it will return post uh, user with the all the things which we require so now you may notice that uh, it is not wrapping inside a data object so first of all we need to wrap it inside a data object so for that we have to go back to our uh, notification class so inside our to broadcast method uh, we will wrap it inside the data okay now that's enough now back in back to our dot uh, js and we will update our notifications variable by notification this dot not notifications dot push notification okay so now we can give it a try so I will just reload everything and create a new comment and now you can see the notification as automatically updated so it is working fine so that's enough now we can just clear out the console.log and that's all for this series so thank you for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel so this is the end of this series and you can always give me feedback you can request more videos from me stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to appreciate my works thank you guys